tough one to do, but I'll show you the rest of what I go through. Um, I'll go through the pre-trip that I do real quick. Um, my post-trip, and I, I kind of pre-trip post-trip whenever I'm feeling. So basically what we're going to start off with is what I got. I got all the lights on. Um, you can see the hazards are flashing uh, in the truck. Um, I got the hood unlatched. You gotta love these Volvos. These are a lot lighter hoods than they used to be back in the day. I'm going to come up here to my, my Volvo check all of my hoses, make sure when I squeeze them there's no water or fluids coming out, check them all, check my steering, make sure it's nice and snug. Power steering, oh god. are you looking for? Oh, nice thump. I'll show you back here. Now, these should sound the same when I hit them. Ready? You hear it? Yep. Oop, that sounds low. You hear that? Yeah. So, I guess what we'll do... Okay, so as you see, Tire pressure is not 110 pounds per uh, 110 PSI. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break out my good old air, air, air tire inflator kit that the company survived, provides, which is pretty cool. I mean, I will give them credit on that. Well, it makes it so we don't have to drive over to a lane or something and fill it up.
checking our lights up under here, making sure they're flashing. These brakes are working. Bug, checking both bug traps, checking all the, all the landing gears, all things and stuff like that. Making sure there's no tears and stuff in the whole trailer. Making sure more of my side marker lights are working. Checking my trailer. I'm also making sure my kingpins are where they're supposed to be, which if you guys watched my other video, they should be, because I did it. Tires sound good. Checking the trailer mud flaps. Checking kind of both. My side marker lights are good. On Swift trucks, of course I'm making sure these are all lit. On Swifts, every morning, make sure your lock is still on. Make sure your seal is still there, correct one. Can yeah, I don't know if you can see it or not, but checking the three little minis up there. Make sure your doors are locked, no damage to the rear end. Again, making sure both rear lights are working, side lights working, mud flaps good, not going anywhere. Pump these tires. See how they all sound the same? Now one thing you'll notice, each tire is, all, is actually almost like a different brand. You know, you got the tread pattern on this is different than this, this, and this. So, you guys see that? Different tread patterns. Again, thank you. to anybody get a pair of uh, wire clamps like I've got you know you got extra fuses I got fuses at the wazoo in here so you blow fuses you don't have to be a little girly girl go I can't figure out why power don't work check the fuse panel manly man <laughs> throw a set find it now they provided the box and the air hose what did they not provide well if you right now they have a push where they were making it where you can get the tools the uh, this blue box these, the air hose, um, you have to do like a 15 minute video, you watch it, yada yada yada, you sure you know what you're doing. Um, only thing that that kit doesn't provide is the actual headlamps themselves and the, the, the flash lamps for the front end of the truck. Those are a couple bucks though. Well, two for the front of this car, is, or this truck, is about six bucks. So I found them, that was the first thing I had. I had where if you're in a Volvo and you see the, the hazards blinking really fast, you got a front turn signal out or somewhere on the truck turn signals out. 
they, in their little instruction booklet, do not put in there how to change the Bobo, Bobo, or Amber marker, marker lights up in the front corners. Isn't they it like a the car? Headlights. Huh? Isn't it, wasn't it like a car though? You just pop it in and out? Yeah, pretty much a twist. Okay. But it was just the aspects of, they didn't show it, because there's a lot of people like that aren't technically mechanical. Mm -hmm. um, but anyways, so, and then of course, the, somebody left in here a pair of the halogen driving lights, which I don't know, that's a 50-50 if I trust them. Um, but you get you can get the toolbox, this light kit, these, which this, and this is supposed to stay with the truck, but a lot of drivers don't because they know the next truck's not gonna have it. Like my first truck, the International, didn't have it. They're like, I had maybe one mud flap hanging out in there. But, um, you know, you can get the whole kit. You know, the toolkit, they'll take it like, I think it was like 15 bucks out of your check, every check. I had enough tools, guys, if you've seen that video of what tools I recommend for the truck to begin with. That's because I had those already from my last truck I drove. So, you know, and, uh, but I didn't have the hose. The hoses are about 40 bucks, 30, 40 bucks, depending on where you go. And then the tire gauge, uh, they don't provide. I had to spend 15 bucks at a truck stop um, for that. But as you see, I thumped enough tires. I knew it before I even gauged it. I gauged it to see how bad it was. Um, so it makes a good video for you guys. So we're gonna finish this pre-trip, which there's really nothing more other than to figure out how to get the wife back in the truck and strap her down for the next four or five hours. like it was in good condition for tonight. What a pretty view. Huh? What a pretty view. It's a nice view. I have a weird feeling I've been here before. <laughs> and we're not talking recently trucking either. Really? Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. That or deja vu or oh, deja vu is not so bad. Deja poof vu. <laughs> I don't know. No problem. You just 
swipe it the right way. Yeah. Cool. Now I just gotta watch for the shower screen. Now where are their shower screens? If you're one of over 50 million adults who suffer from a sore mouth, consider new app sensitive. The soothing alcohol free formula has maximum fluoride to rebuild enamel up to two times stronger. New app sensitive, strong teeth, fresh breath, and a sensitive formula. Your shower is now ready. Please proceed to shower. 14. Alright, so we got 14, huh? Hurry up, cheese. Tickle, tickle. I think it said shower 17. 14. Shower number 14? What do we use? The little cool little pack. Okay. Shower customer 66. Your shower is now ready. Please proceed. Shower five. Shower customer sixty-six. Your shower is now ready. Please proceed to shower five. Bright color? Yep. Come watch. Church down this way. Is it open on its own already? Yeah. Hmm. Guess I should be nice and still just enter the code. So anyways, you said 14, huh? This one looks like they're overhauling it, which is a good thing. So there's your sink. And of course towels. Toilet. Toilet paper. Yeah, looks like they're overhauling this one. Dun, 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 dun. I'll turn around this way so you can see it. There's me. See, look, I see you. You see me. And there's Sam, two of her, there's in there and there, and yeah, she sees you. <laughs> the toilet seat was left up, there must have been a guy in here. No. And of course, there's a shower. Like I said, this one looks like they're overhauling it, looks like it's for the better. So, whatever. All right. It works. Shower customer 73. Your shower is now ready. Please proceed to shower 9. Shower customer 73. Your shower is now ready. Please proceed to shower 9. Super 
Just gotta make sure you hit the lower one, not the upper one. Shower customer, 77. You know, you guys are right. I'm sick of being a fat kid too. I've been making excuses all my life, but I know deep down that if I took responsibility and really tried hard, if we all try together, well, we really can lose the weight. Oh, no, not you. You're not welcome here anymore. Yeah. yeah. I'm Cheeto, and I approve of this message. Oh, come on. What the hell?